This is Spy Egret. He too is as lifelike as possible. And under the feathers and skin, the metal skeleton is no less impressive. But he's not going to film other birds. His sights are set much higher. He is soon on his first assignment. It's not long before he catches a glimpse of his subjects. Egrets like him follow the elephant herds around. But he's not the only lifelike camera going undercover. Michael Richards is one of the world's most experienced wildlife cameramen. He's filmed elephants many times before. He must anticipate the elephant's intentions and deploy remote cameras on a track he thinks they'll take. First out are the plop cams, based on a ball of elephant poo. Then it's the log cams. And finally, a spy tortoise. Now it's spy egret's turn, the most expensive, fragile, and irreplaceable of the lot. It's time for quick decisions. I think they're turning according to us. Well, they are. So yeah. It's just, uh, it's just popping down here. Okay. Right, okay, you can swing it. Keep coming, and then you're gonna have to reverse, just so you, I can hide behind the vehicle. That's great, thank you. Stop there. Stop, stop. Just so they can't see me. They're coming exactly towards us. Okay. The plan is for him to film at the same height as a baby elephant, right inside the herd. With the crew controlling him from a distance, he now has to face the elephants on his own. It's a nerve-wracking moment as he disappears inside a wall of legs. Thanks to some very obliging elephants, Egret Cam survives unscathed. In fact, over the weeks spent with the herd, hardly a feather was ruffled.